What is up, witches and wizards, muggles and nomads? I'm Animagus, and today I want to talk to you about Magic Awakened. Harry Potter Magic Awakened is a mobile RPG that is going to be coming soon. Hashtag soon. We've all been there before, right? And I want to talk about the top 10 things I am looking forward to in this particular game. Some of them have to do with game modes itself. Some of them will be uh, just sort of the philosophy of the game and all of that good stuff. So I do want to let you guys know that I also cover Wizards Unite. If you're watching a video and you search for Magic Awaken, it's the first time you've ever seen my face. I cover Harry Potter Wizards Unite, an augmented reality mobile RPG from Niantic and WB. So if you haven't ever played that, I highly recommend that feel free to check out some of the other videos to kind of get an idea of what that's like uh, but I'm also going to be covering Magic Awaken and I am so so excited for this game so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into that top 10 list of course number one on that list is a real story there's going to be a lot of story building back here in this particular part of the game you get to see yourself receive the letter you go through hogsmeade you go through diagon alley and of course you get to see a journey through hogwarts now if you want to you can go ahead and check out the harry potter magic awaken youtube channel they have been putting out tons and tons and tons of videos about gameplay, storylines if you're into spoiling yourself and all of that kind of stuff. A lot of those things are actually gonna be on this list. So you can kind of get both from their channel and mine, but just know that they are doing a lot of content creation and especially with covering their own game, they're doing a fantastic job and I can't wait to see what else they put out. But of course, I really want to see more story and I can't wait to delve into this because it looks really, really good i again am just very excited about story i love story driven aspects and elements those are things that harry potter people and harry potter fans love we are lore masters by trade not necessarily gamers so number two on this list is character customization as you can see now you get to go into madame Malkin's robes for all occasions you choose your gender you get to go inside the actual store where you can choose an outfit you can choose a hairstyle you can choose anything that you really want in order to customize your character from the outset which is so cool you can wear your house scarf you can have all kinds of different items and things like that which really gives that ownership that you want so like for me specifically i love the newt robes you know i'm going to be picking up those newt scamander robes and uh you can't see this because i'm on the screen but part of the customization item is shoes as well. I'm a huge fan of Oxfords. If I can get some Oxfords and wear Newt Scamander's robes and have that sort of outfit, then I mean, I'm, I'm already sold on this game. You don't have to sell me on this game, but character customization is going to be really cool because in the online mode that I'll talk about in just a minute, it will help you distinguish yourself from other witches and wizards. Now, with character customization usually comes a couple of questions sometimes people are worried about microtransactions and sometimes people are worried about spending all of their money on this game and you even get to name your character too which is pretty dope so um one of the things that that i am a little bit hesitant about or a little bit wary of is the microtransactions in this game seeing that it is a card based game uh, i know that they'll be selling packs and i know that they'll be doing all of that kinds of stuff so i am excited of course for the character customization. Number three is the Dueling Club. Now, the Dueling Club is one of my favorite moments in all of Harry Potter's history. I mean, when he just faces off against Draco, reveals that he's a partial tongue and everybody thinks he's the heir of Slytherin, and also when just just Lockhart being an idiot it's all a great moment and so getting to see those moments lived out is really really cool as well and so here we are in the dueling club and now this is not just a club where you go up against a bunch of pve style characters i think this is truly an online mode that you can face off against other players from across the world now this is just so cool because it's really a your deck of cards versus their deck of cards type of thing and i'm very excited to see what kind of cards we have um i obviously i can't read chinese so i don't know what any of these cards say or what the book says or anything like that but being able to play those cards in almost a hearthstone style uh clash royale style battle is just very very cool and very fun i mean you get to see the art and the interactions of the screen online the dueling club is going to be a blast and that is why it is number three on my list 
Next on the list, we have the Echoes system. So the Echoes system is a new feature that I haven't really seen in a lot of the games. It's really tied to memory and mysterious artifacts from the actual wizarding world. Uh, you can kind of see that they're visiting through different types of memories and different types of experience and what those types of creatures or plants or items are used for in order to progress in the game. So we have Newt Scamander here on the screen and it's just a display for him and it could be a profile thing where it's a character that you actually get to meet and experience through different memories. Uh, at the bottom of the screen, you can see Dobby, you can see Hagrid, you can see Hermione. So I think that it's a way for you to experience characters from the wizarding world and popular characters from the wizarding world at that through these different types of items that you can then use to unlock certain potion ingredients or unlock certain spell cards by discovering them throughout the wizarding world in the game. And that's all a speculation. Again, I can't read Chinese, so I don't know really what it means, but you can see that these are clearly very tied to memories. And of course, with Fred and George Weasley there, like it's pretty apparent that they're not still in the game. This is supposed to take place, I believe, around the Cursed Child era of Harry Potter uh, in the Wizarding World. So again, I'm very interested to see how this plays out in the game, the Echo system, and of course the nostalgia factor is a huge sell for me. I absolutely love anything that draws back to those days when I'm reading the books and I get to feel that pull in of the nostalgia and the lore of Harry Potter. So that is the Echo system. Number five on the list is the room system. Now, similar uh, to the Hogwarts mystery sort of room system, this is obviously an area where you can live and decorate and upgrade your belongings and your four poster bed and have all kinds of different things there. I'd love to see some posters of like Chudley cannons or the Windborn wasps or something like that that you could put on uh, or near your area. So this is a way for you to spend gold in the game. And again, probably will be centered a little bit around those microtransactions and decorations but the coolest part of this as you can see the character walking around is the names of other players that actually live in their room so you can have roommates which is so freaking cool uh, you can have roommates and i think that you can actually pick your roommates it's sort of like a clan almost uh, or a a group uh, that you can run with in the game so you can invite people to be your roommates that you want to play the game with frequently and i don't know if the potions that you can see in the middle of the room uh are are anything specific like i don't think you get to brew any potions in that cauldron but you can see your roommates there on a copy of the marauders map or what looks like a sheet for the marauders map that's a really cool way and a really awesome bit of investment i love the idea of being able to invite others and friends in the game uh, now there are some restrictions to this you can't have girls in the boys dormitory and you can't have boys in the girls dormitory uh, And that's all that I know so far. I saw that on a Q&A So that right there was the room system in magic awakened Now of course you can't have Hogwarts and you can't have school and you can't go to Hogwarts without going to class, right? So I'm very excited about these classes as well. And of course we get to see here the ever uh, infamous Wingardium Leviosa <laughs> class. So uh, I'm interested to see what the classes play like. I know that you are tasked with, with practicing the spell and using it in a certain circumstance in the game. And then I think that card can be added to your deck. I'm not positive on exactly how that works with those logistics and what that looks like but again being able to go to charms or defense against the dark arts or potions those are other classes that i have seen so far in this game and they're really showing off some cool things they're getting to make the potions you get to go gather the ingredients and all that type of stuff i haven't seen um a flying class or herbology yet or anything like that in particular but as you can see the student here is daydreaming about using Wingardium Leviosa in a neat little challenge where you have to take down a troll that calls back to Philosopher's Stone or Sorcerer's Stone when Harry Hermione and Ron take the troll down in the girls bathroom so uh, yeah it's it's really cool here to see these classes there's also one for potions uh, that I have as well that they have posted on their YouTube channel and of course all of these things are are being uh, are seen and kind of watched over there on their YouTube channel 
So if you want to catch more of this and you want to start looking at the story, you can go over there. I'm not going to go over any story stuff because I haven't watched it and I don't want to ruin it for myself. So that is the class system. Again, I'm looking for more diverse classes in the future and I can't wait to see what they do with that as well. Uh, I mean, I have nothing bad to say about this game so far. I just it, look at it. Just look at how gorgeous this game is. I'm just going to turn my camera off and let you watch it. It's so pretty. Everything about it. And this is a mobile game, too. I hope that I'm able to play this on Bluestacks <laughs> so I can play this game on my computer. All right. So that was the class system in Magic Awakened. Next on the list is a mode I have never seen in a Harry Potter video game in my life. I could be wrong, but this is ball mode. So you actually get to go and play in an online mode and you can go and dance in what looks like one of the side rooms or maybe a, a redone version of the Great Hall or something like that. But you can actually invite as you see the dancers inviting one another to dance and you have to perform these moves in a certain way it kind of reminds me of swiping for the new special attacks in pokemon go uh but yeah you will see them on screen you have to actually tap the screen just right in order to get excellent scores in this event and once you do you're rewarded xp you're rewarded gold and it's really awesome like what a fun little interaction because they are getting scored just like you are so you can pair up with somebody that you've never met before online and take a dance class with them you can spend time hanging out with them as professor flitwick directs the choir and the band and it's just a really cool feature i know that it sounds kind of silly uh but i feel like this is a great thing to do if there are any cooldowns in the game if there's something that you're waiting on like i know that there's spell energy in uh hogwarts mystery that you kind of have to wait on to recharge or pay for it to recharge and this would be a great way to sort of break up that break, if you will. So I really like the look of this. I like the idea of these online modes, not just because it's different and it's interesting at the same time, but because it paves the way for future renditions or future additions of online modes in Harry Potter Magic Awakened. I'd love to see like online Quidditch, um, online uh, gobstones, those types of things. Those would be really fun and interesting ways to play the game. So I'm, I'm really excited to see what they do with this as well in ball mode in Harry Potter Magic Awaken. So again, that was ball mode and now we are on to the next. So I know that I just got this out of my mouth a second ago and I sort of spoiled the section just a little bit, but number eight for me is online mode. I mean, we're talking about a game where you're able to pair and match up with friends from all over the world. And I think that we as a as a community of gamers and as people who play games uh, in general, just undervalue the ability and what how cool it is to be able to connect with people all over the world. I mean, you can get a text from here to Japan in the same amount of time that it takes me to stand up out of my chair so i know that we kind of undervalue that a little bit but being able to connect with other players and other fans of harry potter across the world is something that i will never be able to undervalue i just think that that's so cool so again online modes that i'm looking forward to um things like gobstones wizard's chest maybe a potions club uh, we already saw dueling club in some footage earlier so those are all things that of course i think are very exciting and very promising for this game so that is online mode now, of course, you can't play a spell card game without the actual spell cards. You can go into the library and visit with a librarian and flip through every single spell that exists in the game. And that is so cool to me. Like the idea of that is just awesome. You get to see these illustrations and animations from various parts in the series where these spells were typically used. Uh, you get to see how they're affected, what the story is behind them and what exactly they were used for and how you can use them in your own dueling experience or in your own classroom experience. Uh, there are some pretty scary spells like there's Sectum Sempra. There's actually the Killing Curse is in there for some reason, which is a little bit unsettling. I like I'm not exactly what like, why is that in the game? Why are we just openly killing things? I think that's a problem, probably. <laughs> But anyway, I, I do digress. I think that it's incredibly interesting to be, that you can flip through these spell books and you can see everything that you need to know and how to get them and what they do and all of that type of stuff. I mean, 
you get to level up and progress throughout this game and as you do so of course you'll be able to unlock cooler spells that can either do more damage or maybe you can upgrade those spells to do more damage so of course again i am very very excited about the spell cards in harry potter magic awaken flipping through those spell books and getting to see firsthand like i'm almost holding the book myself will be super super cool and i couldn't be more stoked for that now last but not least there is a forbidden forest mode and this is more of like a horde mode and if you don't know what a horde mode is i kind of explain it to you in a way that i hope makes sense so a horde mode is a game mode where spawns uh, or enemies will come in waves so it'll be like a wave one type thing and you defeat all of those as fast as you can and then wave two will come and you defeat those as fast as you can and so on and so on and so forth and you either go until your character runs out of energy or dies or whatever passes out i don't know how they'll, they'll, they'll go through that in this game or time expires so that is generally how horde mode works you can progress through a certain amount of these things and get to the next level now as you can see the character here is fighting off a lot of different combatants and using the spell cards to do so and once they are all gone you can progress to the next level so i don't know if this is something that you go to one time and you try to get as far as you can and then there's a refresh rate on it or something like that uh, usually that's how it is just cooldown based so you can't sprint through all of the content but you may also be able to go up to say you clear all the waves up to level three and you leave to go do something else and you can come back and continue at level three and then try to progress farther I, again i don't know for sure there are a few different ways you can do these types of modes but needless to say being able to wander through the forbidden forest and come you know fight with centaurs and trolls and uh, it just looks so freaking good like i'm so excited for this art just it, ah, it looks so good so that is my top 10 list and the things that I'm looking forward to most in Harry Potter Magic Awaken. Let me know your thoughts down below. Are you excited for this game? Like, is it even interesting to you? Do you think that it looks cool? Do you think that it looks fun? Uh, I know that at, at the end of the day, I usually am trying to wind down with a mobile game and just kind of relax my mind and just kind of brain drain for a little bit if I've had a really stressful day. So I'll play things like uh, Marvel Strike Force or I'll hop on Wizards Unite and get all of the things that I've like gotten around my house and all that type of stuff. So, uh, and, you know, checking on potions and all that. It's, it's fun to do, but this looks like a really, really fun game that you can play um, to kind of do that sort of thing and knock out quests one step at a time. I'm super interested in playing it. I want to know your thoughts down below as well. I want to continue to cover this game too. Uh, because it looks like a blast the art is amazing the story looks very promising and all of the game modes look fantastic the only thing that i can possibly think of that would make this game a little bit eh for me is if they overhauled it with microtransactions instead of just kind of letting us play as we have it um but i know that this video is getting a little bit long because i can tend to get rambly so i'm going to cut it off here if this is your first time watching me or seeing a video thank you so much for coming i really do appreciate it we have a discord down below where you can join the community there and we'll talk about all things wizards unite all things magic awakened uh feel free to join us down there if you want i also would uh just like for you to hit the thumbs up on the video if you liked the video if you thought it was good or if you got some value from it uh, let me know down below that's really positive um feedback that i can take and then make better videos or you know fix my videos if they suck so make sure you leave a thumbs up down below as well as hitting that red subscribe button if you are brand new and ring those notification bells too so you know the next time i produce a piece of wizarding content thank you so so much for watching today i appreciate each and every one of you and until next time peace